Bishop T.D. Jakes has been around for a very long time. This man is known for many things. He's known for his megachurch status, his prosperity, gospel teaching, word, faith, affiliation, private jets, talking to Oprah, telling people that there's many ways of getting to heaven is not just simply through Jesus. He took some major L's throughout the course of his ministry life, but this might be one of the biggest ones. T.D. Jakes recently in the Woman That Are Loose conference passed the torch to his daughter, Sarah Jakes Roberts. And, and it really pains me to make this video because there were glimpses in this exchange where you saw perhaps genuine moments between a father and a daughter. And you, you saw glimpses of moments of love. But then you saw stuff like this. God rest upon you rest upon your life and you're reminded that man this is really just a, a show these are just theatrics antics to keep people entertained and enthralled with their life but i want to discuss some of the problems that i observed in this ceremony because it speaks to some of the bigger problems within mainstream christianity i think these are some some key points that we need to focus on because if we want to dive deeper into a close relationship with Jesus and go deeper in our word and our relationships with one another, we must avoid people with this type of attitude, with this type of behavior because it's going to stifle spiritual growth. So let me show you this first clip to highlight what I'm talking about. This is not a favor. This is not daddy. This is a divine assignment. <laughs> that woman thou art loose must evolve. When I came to Denver to hear you do Woman Evolve, I sat on the front row and it was then that God spoke to me and said, it is time for you to decrease that she might increase. I wanna choose my words carefully here because I don't want anyone to misrepresent what I'm trying to communicate in this video. I am not disparaging T.D. Jakes or Sarah Jakes' character. This is not about their character. I am simply addressing what T.D. Jakes is saying out of his own mouth. He said he must decrease so she can increase. Those are the words from John the Baptist. John the Baptist said he must decrease so Jesus Christ can increase. T.D. Jakes, whether it's unwittingly, inadvertently, or maybe it's intentional, but he's saying that he's John the Baptist and Sarah Jakes Roberts is Jesus Christ. This is narcissism. Some call it narcissism, where you're putting yourself in every scripture. You're interpreting the scriptures based on your personality, your ideas, rather than letting the scriptures interpret themselves. T.D. Jakes is putting Sarah Jakes Roberts in the place of Jesus and himself in the place of John the Baptist to pander, to flatter Sarah Jakes. This is not helping her. This is flattering her. This is making her feel like she's something that she's not. I don't see this working out for nobody involved because the premise by which he is ordaining her is unbiblical. The scripture that he's referencing, he's twisting it to support her. Let's watch this next clip. As Samuel's horn of oil anointed David, I so anoint you. And with every drop of oil, that falls upon your head. May the strength and the power of the almighty God. So, so now he's literally anointing Sarah Jakes Roberts and passing the, you know, the torch to her by, by pouring oil on her head as if she's King David and he's the prophet Samuel. I mean, <laughs> this type of narcissist is sickening. Where is Jesus at in any of this? You know, how is this glorifying Jesus? How is this furthering 
his name. This is only furthering the Jake's family name. This is only furthering her career. There's nothing wrong with conferences. There's nothing wrong with hosting uh, larger events in the name of, of, of Jesus, right? There's nothing wrong with those things. However, when it's centered around one person, and that person is not Jesus, that is wrong. Rest upon you. Rest upon your life. Rest upon your life. And again, the antics. I mean, now she's slain in the spirit. This type of stuff really bothers me because this is making a mockery of the Holy Spirit. This is obviously staged, and that, my friends, is a disservice to all of those people in the crowd who came to Woman That Are Loose for an authentic experience. Instead, they're getting entertained and watching Sarah Jakes be anointed and glorified rather than Jesus. You fight for her and every time you stand by her and every time you walk by her and know who you are as a man of God and still allow who she is to function in her capacity, I respect you and I'm proud of you. This looks like a genuine moment father-in-law speaking to his son-in-law exchanging words emotions are high this seems like a genuine experience but it's not step into your destiny and still let her step into hers and i embrace you as my son Now, when you watch a moment like that, T.D. Jakes is very, very good at invoking emotions out of people. He's very good at inflecting his voice and stirring up your spirit to get a emotional response out of you. But we have to listen to his words and bypass the emotions. T.D. Jakes is telling Tory Roberts without directly explicitly saying it to him, that he must also decrease so Sarah Jakes can increase as well. Now, that is problematic. If the husband is the pastor and the wife is the pastor, there's going to be a conflict. There's going to be a tug of power, a power struggle per se. And if one person has a bigger platform and that just happens to be the wife, there's going to be a power struggle because in the fall, in Genesis, Jesus said one of the curses that the woman would desire her husband. She would want to be in control. And when you give someone control who wants to be in control, it corrupts them. I'm not surprised that T.D. Jakes has anointed or appointed Sarah Jakes to take over women that are loose. He said it's not favoritism. He said it's not nepotism. He said that it wasn't him doing his daughter a favor. Now, I'm not about to bear false witness and say that he's lying, but it seems like all roads are pointing to the fact that it might be a little bit of favoritism going on there. But I'm not surprised that he's doing this. T.D. Jakes has erroneous teachings. Sarah Jakes has erroneous teachings. I made videos about her erroneous teachings. Tory Roberts has erroneous teachings. He flatters women as well. He's from the same ilk as T.D. Jakes when it comes to flattering and pandering to women because black women make up a large percentage of the African-American church, the black church. So they pander to them and flatter them to enlarge their platforms. But they are doing the body of Christ a disservice because we have to teach the whole counsel of God to be sound in our doctrine and not give in to people, not be people pleasers, but be God pleasers. Paul says he will much rather please God than please man. He doesn't do anything for man's approval. He does everything for God's approval. This is an L for T.D. Jakes. He could have easily gave Tory Roberts that position. Tory Roberts is a capable speaker seems to be able to you know articulate i'm not in agreement with none of his teachings per se but just for the sake of following the order of god he could have did that but he 
chose to do the opposite because this was a marketing strategy. This was a business move. And T.D. Jakes is a businessman. First and foremost, this was a business move. Toy Roberts wasn't a business, wasn't the right business move. We got to be careful when we're looking at stuff like this. We have to think critically about what's going on and not be so moved by our emotions, but think biblically, think critically so we won't be deceived and led astray by these speakers and communicators with microphones in their hands. Make sure you judge and test everything they say against scripture so you can be safeguarded and shielded from deceptive false teachers who only want your money. They only want to make merchandise out of you. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. Like this video. I'll be back next week with another one. This is Pastor Frederick. This is by the book. Peace.